When Philips brought their CD Interactive platform to the market, it was originally intended to be used for business, educational, and general multimedia purposes. Because of this, there were a wide variety of pointing devices available, each better for certain situations than others. For instance, the wireless remotes for classroom instruction, or the kids' analog rollerball controller for a child at home. Philips also had a mandate requiring that each piece of software utilize every single pointing device available. This stayed true even when Philips began marketing the CDI as a fully-fledged video game platform. Not only could games be played with the various types of gamepads available, but they were also controllable with the other pointing devices as well, including peripherals like the CDI mouse. In the 1990s, many popular gaming consoles also received mouse accessories. Some were even relatively popular for the time. Despite this, however, there was one serious issue that limited the potential of these devices. There were very few games available that actually took advantage of them. On these mainstream platforms, console developers incorporated mouse support at their own leisure, and many users were often left with the paperweight on their hands. With the CDI, a user can control whatever they please with the mouse. A shoot 'em up Check. A point-and-click adventure? Check. A puzzle game? Check. A side-scrolling platformer? Check, although I doubt you would want to in that case. For the remaining portion of this video, we'll be looking at the CDI mouse in action, as well as a few different styles of games it can be played with. Does it work well? Well, let's take a look. First up we have Mystic Midway Rest in Pieces, a carnival style shooting game of sorts. Generally, it requires quick, accurate reflexes, and the mouse delivers for the most part. Precision is pinpoint, and it really does feel good. One thing I did notice though is that the maximum movement speed seems to be lower than it does when using a control pad. Considering movement is choppy with the standard controller though, I think the excellent accuracy makes up for it and gives the mouse the edge here. Next up we have Lemmings. The original computer version of this game was developed with a mouse in mind. Any console version that didn't have mouse support was admittedly awkward to play. Unfortunately, this isn't the case with the CDI. Cursor movement is extremely quick and fluid, and aside from the slowdown found in the CDI version of the game, it feels just like playing the computer version. The mouse is easily the winner here. Now we have Tetris. Now this one felt a little awkward at first, but after a few moments I think I could say I actually enjoy it more with the mouse. Playing this specific version with a control pad always felt laggy for some reason, but that's not the case with mouse control. The movement of your pieces feels faster and more responsive, and flipping pieces can be formed much faster than before. You do have to use it with finesse if you want to play well, but once you do it feels good. Overall with better response than the control pad, the mouse wins out here by a small margin. Next up we have the puzzler Dymo's Quest. This one is a perfect example of the Philips controller protocol put into effect. I found myself moving inaccurately and was constantly walking into spots I didn't want to. It was even difficult to walk into a single straight direction, and in the game littered with traps, it's not really a good thing. A good example of using the mouse just for the sake of novelty, I recommend you stick with the control pad on this one. Lastly, we have Alien Gate, a skill-oriented vertical shooter. To be honest, I just recently played this for the first time with a control pad, and really it felt like it was a subpar game. Control with the gamepad felt slow, plodding, and a bit unresponsive. However, it feels like a completely different game with control with the mouse. The movement is now fast and accurate, and it feels like you can fire much faster. To compare it to other games, it feels a bit like controlling classic DOS-based PC shooters like Tyrion or Raptor. The mouse definitely gets the edge on this one by a long shot, don't even bother with a control pad here. So there you have it guys, as you have seen through a variety of examples here, different types of games are enhanced one way or another with the CDI mouse. There are obviously some titles that are better suited for standard game controllers, but I think overall, compared to other platforms, there are a far greater amount of titles that will work well with it, thanks to being a device that you're bound to get some use out of. I feel the CDI mouse is a must-have peripheral for the platform. As of 2011 when recording this, it can still be found with ease unlike other controllers on the platform. New in-box packages are actually still obtainable on eBay for just a little over $20 after shipping. If you have a CDI and you don't own a proper analog pointing device for it, you really owe it to yourself to give the mouse a shot. It really is necessary in order to get the proper CDI experience as Philips intended it.